dive deep beneath the ocean surface, and ordinary looking sharks begin turning into monsters that look like they were pulled out of a nightmare. Their bodies get increasingly stretched and bloated. Some have jaws that detach from their skull, and others have lifespans so long that they were born before electricity was invented. What forces sharks to turn into these warped, horrifying creatures the deeper you go? To understand how these sharks exist, we have to start at the ocean surface. Between the first 250 meters of the sea is where the great white shark rules. Its body already has the harsh, predatory features that deeper sharks distort into far stranger forms. Its jaws contain seven rows of teeth that are built to tear seals in half. It's torpedo-shaped, packed with muscle, and has eyes tuned for hunting in clear, bright water. This anatomy makes sense in an environment with plenty of light and enough food to justify revving that massive biological engine. That's why this apex predator hugs the upper 100 meters of the ocean. But take that design and drop it far down, and suddenly everything that made it terrifying becomes even more twisted. Here we get our first glimpse of something genuinely alien. The frilled shark. It typically lives between about 50 and 200 meters down, but it can descend much farther, with some individuals recorded at depths around 1,570 meters. Its body is long, eel-like, and soft instead of sleek and muscular. Its gills run along the neck in frayed, collar-like slits that give it its name. Its mouth holds more than 300 needle-like, backward-facing teeth arranged in multiple rows forming an efficient trapping mechanism rather than a cutting tool. In deep, low-energy environments, maintaining a large, fast-moving body would be metabolically unsustainable, so the frilled shark relies on slow, controlled movements and short lunges to capture prey that drifts within reach. Keep going down, and you reach sharks adapted to almost lightless conditions. Down to 500 meters, we find ourselves in the ocean's twilight zone, where the water dims into a permanent dusk. Here lives the big eye thresher shark. At first, it looks like a great white, until it turns and those oversized bowling ball eyes show how it hunts using the last traces of fading light. Its tail has become a ridiculous, elongated whip, sometimes as long as the rest of its body, which it uses to stun schools of fish with a single overhead smack. Since there's so much less food at this depth, the Big Eye Thresher Shark needs a way to attack without spending too much energy. Its oversized eyes pick out faint silhouettes, and its long, whip-like tail lets it avoid costly energy of high-speed pursuits. It still looks like a shark, but you can see the design bending as we go deeper. Deeper still, we enter the Midnight Zone. Between about 250 and 1,000 meters, and sometimes down to 2,000, you find the goblin shark, which is one of the most terrifying looking sharks in existence. Its skin is pale pink because the blood vessels show through its thin tissue. Its snout stretches forward into a long, flattened blade, packed with electroreceptors, letting it sense the faint electrical fields of hidden fish and squid. But the truly unsettling part is its jaw. At rest, it already looks odd. The moment it attacks, the entire lower jaw blasts forward, snapping out of its skull in a sudden lunge and then snapping back again. It doesn't chase in the same way a great white does, it just drifts through the dark, listening for the spark of other animals' nerves firing, then launches its own jaw like a trap. It's still a shark, technically, but now we're firmly in monster territory. drop into near-freezing water between about 200 and 1500 meters, with some individuals recorded down to 2000, and you meet one of the strangest sharks of all, the Greenland shark. It is one of the most mysterious sharks in existence because it lives in such a deep and remote habitat. Imagine something as big as a great white, but with a top swimming speed of only 1.8 miles per hour. Like the great white, it's also an apex predator. Some Greenland sharks have been discovered with moose, horse, and reindeer remains in their stomachs. One was even found with a human leg. Its flesh is loaded with toxic compounds that act like antifreeze, and its metabolism is glacial. Even stranger is their lifespan. 
Radiocarbon studies suggest that some of these sharks are well over 200 years old, possibly past 400, meaning a living Greenland shark might have been cruising the deep before the United States was founded and could still be alive centuries from now. Most are effectively blind, with parasitic crustaceans clinging to their eyes. These crustaceans are sometimes bioluminescent and create the appearance of glowing eyes on the shark. These parasites have no effect on the Greenland shark's ability to hunt, because they have evolved to rely primarily on smell and hearing. Go even deeper and we find the cookie cutter shark, one of the most unsettling deep sea creatures because of how it feeds. At night, it rises just below about 85 meters, and during the day, it sinks down into the true deep, between roughly 1,000 and 3,000 meters. It has huge, marble-like eyes and a row of teeth that looks like it's surrounded by giant lips. Its underside glows with bioluminescent organs that erase its outline from below, except for a dark collar around its throat. To larger predators looking up, that collar looks like the silhouette of a smaller fish. When they move in for an easy snack, it latches on with suction cup lips and then twists, using a ring of razor teeth to drill out a perfectly circular plug of flesh. Whales, dolphins, tuna, and other sharks, even submarine hull coatings come back scarred with neat, round craters. It's small, but leaves behind terrifying surgical bite marks. The deeper you go, the less a shark looks like something meant to share a planet with and more like something designed for a world we were never supposed to see. <laughs> 